Michelle Garcia here, your Nikan water expert, coming to you from Boulder, Colorado. So congratulations, you purchased a Nikan Pi Mag waterfall. Yay! You made the right choice for you, your family, and your pets. Don't forget about your pets, but not your plants. The water's too alkaline and you'll kill your plants. Okay, so now you've got your system, what do you do? I'm gonna help you walk through some steps that's gonna make your transition and the setup super easy and simple. First things first, it's gonna come like this in the box. You're going to have your mineral stones too. They're gonna to be in a bag and you're going to have your cartridge filter. Okay, this is the creme de la creme. All right, so let's deal with the filter cartridge first. We're gonna take it out of the plastic housing. You're gonna take this gray little top off, it just kinda of clicks on and off. You're going to take these pre-filter pads out, these white little cushiony things. So I'm gonna take them out. I'm using a butter knife. You could use a flathead screwdriver. Obviously safety first here. So we'll take the pads out and then we're gonna to need to soak the filter cartridge. I recommend soaking it for about eight hours. First off, so you're gonna find a little pitcher or you can use a bucket or a pail or something you'd make soup in. So from there, you're gonna put that in and you're gonna put the pads in also. So actually, let me do that because I know my little pitcher here is kind of tight. So I need to squeeze my pad in there and then I'm just gonna toss the other white pads in. But it has to be underneath your purple gasket. Purple gasket. So when you fill the water in, you're gonna pour it in on the sides. And again, you wanna keep the water right up to the purple line, but don't go over it. So the water is gonna help absorb into the filter and kind of get the sediment loose that we don't need. All right, so that's gonna soak for eight hours. Now, don't just forget about it. You wanna check it periodically. That's why overnight might not be ideal because the water's going to be absorbed and you do wanna keep it up to that purple gasket line. So check it every once in a while and you might need to add a little bit more water, okay? So that sets aside. Next, the mineral rocks. Now, Nikon doesn't say to do this, but I find that the mineral rocks have a really strong minerally taste, which is okay for some people, I don't really like it. So what I do is soak those as well. So I'm just gonna soak those, same thing, for as long as the filter's soaking, right? It's not rocket science. All right, so these are soaking. Now let's deal with our system. So we've got the top of the system. This is your fill tank. And there's actually a top here, which is apparently a top of the supply tank. I never even knew it came off, but it does come off. So if yours comes off, fine. We're all gonna wash this with some warm soapy water. Um, just make sure you dry it completely before you snap it back on because it could you know, create some mildew or something under there. And so this is your supply tank. And it also comes off of its little housing here. Okay, so if that comes off, that's fine. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna run some soapy water through, warm, not hot, and when you do do that, just use a sponge, nothing abrasive, and don't use paper towels to dry it because it'll leave those little nubby residue things that are no bueno. Okay, so after we've got our system washed and dried, we've got our mineral rocks that have soaked and our cartridges that have soaked for about eight hours. We're going to place the mineral rocks inside the supply tank, okay? So what happens is the gross tap water that you fill up the top with goes through this awesome filter cartridge and takes out everything that we don't want, right? The chlorine, the chloramine, the VOCs, the pesticides, the herbicides, the prescription drugs, mm, gross. Once that gets all removed, we need to add some trace minerals back into the water. So that's what these mineral rocks are doing. First, put the mineral rocks inside the supply tank. And you'll notice in the supply tank, there's that little circular sort of reservoir, a little canal in the middle. We wanna make sure that no rocks get into that because that's where our filter butt essentially is going to live. And we also want to make sure that no rocks get in front of this little white valve where the water flows into because that will prevent our flow from being super strong. Mineral rocks go inside. Okay, Just like that, take the ones that have fallen in out. Now we're going to take out our filter, you can dry it off a little. We're going to put our pre-filter pads back in. Now here's a tip. 
Once you get the filter pads out of the water, give them a good squeeze. They're a sponge, right? They're gonna absorb water. So what the squeeze does is one, gets the water out. Obviously water's gonna go right back in. But getting the water out, it also gets the air bubbles out. So that's gonna help make the flow of the water super strong going through the cartridge. We reassemble like a little puzzle, putting the pieces back in, super fun. And we put the top on top. You'll hear it click in. Now, another tip, before you put this filter cartridge back inside, there's that purple gasket, right? We talked about that before. Sometimes the little rubber is, is down, okay? We wanna make sure the rubber is facing up because that's gonna create your awesome little suction so no gross tap water gets through. We're gonna put the top back on. All right, now we're gonna put the cartridge inside. Whoop, reverse. Now when it goes in, you have to give it a little squeeze. And you'll see it kind of sinks down and that creates the suction, right? When you start filling in water, into the fill tank here and it runs through, it might go a little bit slow at first, right? Because the water's got to get into the filter and sort of soak up, but that's okay. So after a couple times, the water's gonna start running faster and faster. But you wanna make sure that you've created a good suction and you'll know that you hadn't if you fill the water up in the top and the bottom tank fills super quick, then it's not working. You haven't created your suction. Now we're gonna fill our water we're gonna fill our supply tank. And I can see there's no water. Sometimes you'll actually see water sliding down the cartridge, and then you know too, you haven't created a suction. So there's no water filling in. I see the water filling up through, so we're doing good here. The fill tank on the top and the supply tank down below. Only one can be full at one time. So this is to fill all the way to the top great, then it'll go down into here. Once this tank is full, do not put more water in here, right? If this is half full, this can only be half full, all right? So you can only have one full at one time. This is not like a reservoir tank, it's just a fill tank. Once you've got your system fully assembled, last step is to flush the system. Nikon recommends you do that for two cycles. You're gonna put water in the top of the fill tank. You're going to let it go down into the supply tank. Before that happens, you wanna bring your system over to the sink counter. And let's pretend this white towel is the sink. So I've got my system next to the sink. I've got my supply tank that I just filled with water. It's drained to the, or the fill tank and it's drained to the supply tank. So what I'm gonna do now is lift the lever up and the water's gonna pour out. All right, so once that's run through at least two times, and no, this is your little lever, so you can push it, and that's how you fill your glass, or you can pull it and it'll hold, and that's how you fill you know, something that's bigger. And now we want to set the indicator light. Light, that's essentially your timer. It's going to tell you when you need to replace your filter. So it should press and it's green. That means your filter is a go. But since you know, you've already kind of used the filter timing by just flushing it, we want to restart it. So you just press and hold it for about eight seconds. It'll blink and then it'll go solid and then you let it go. There you have it. I know I gave you a lot of information, but you can always go back and watch the video again, and again, and again, if you need. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So I'm Michelle Garcia. Please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.